in the silent depths of the cosmos. Something unimaginable has awakened an ancient monster, invisible yet all-powerful, has just released a cosmic scream brighter than 10 trillion suns. Astronomers are calling it the most violent light show ever recorded in the universe. Our next story explaining this to you. It began as a faint flicker on telescopes. A pinprick of light deep in a galaxy 11 billion light years away. For days, scientists thought it was an error, a sensor glitch, or a dying star's last gasp. But then the light grew brighter, hotter, wilder. Soon, the cosmos itself seemed to pulse with energy. What they were witnessing wasn't a supernova, it was a black hole feeding. Devouring an unlucky star that wandered too close. In a process known as tidal disruption, the star was ripped apart, atom by atom. Its remains spiraling into the black hole's event horizon, the point of no return. Captured first in 2018 by California's Palomar Observatory, which is operated by Caltech, it was analyzed over years. This flare grew to be 30 times brighter than any previously recorded black hole event. It briefly outshone the entire galaxy it inhabits, radiating an extraordinary burst of light and energy that stretches our understanding of cosmic extremes. As we watch this cosmic drama unfold across unimaginable distances, it reminds us of the sheer scale and power lurking in the universe's darkest corners, where stars live and die in the shadow of black holes. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. Shifting focus, a Chinese smartphone has been elevated from just being a consumer gadget to a diplomatic gift, one that perhaps symbolizes Beijing's growing confidence in its tech sector. In a recent bilateral meeting between the Chinese President Xi Jinping and the South Korean President, the two leaders exchanged several gifts, but one item stood out. The Chinese President presented a pair of Xiaomi smartphones to his counterpart, and the choice of that device as an official state gift marks a clear shift in Beijing's strategy in a way. China now sees its homegrown technology as worthy of representing the country's prestige on the world stage in such a manner. For years now, Chinese brands fought global skepticism about quality and innovation related questions, but this gesture signals that Beijing now believes its technology belongs in the top tier of premium devices, right alongside other major brands. Market reactions have already reflected that sentiment, in fact. Xiaomi stock jumped over 3% in Hong Kong as investors recognized the message behind this move. Experts saying Beijing wanted this signal to be noticed both by domestic audiences, also by global competitors. Now, this development also coming in as Xiaomi expands beyond smartphones, venturing into premium electric vehicles and high-end consumer electronics. The brand is no longer just selling products. It appears to be carrying China's ambition for global tech dominance. And this is not the first time a Chinese phone has made diplomatic headlines. Uh, just last month, the Venezuelan president praised a Huawei smartphone reportedly gifted by Xi Jinping, calling it the best phone in the world, claiming that U.S. spies cannot hack it. From consumer electronics to instruments of diplomacy, China's tech is now being used to shape global perception, one smartphone at a time. Moving on for now, one of the world's most peaceful nations, Iceland, is reportedly considering building up its defences in a rather significant manner for the first time since the 19th century. Iceland disbanded its last standing army way back in 1869 and has never fought a war since the 1500s. 
Despite being a founding member of NATO, Iceland has contributed only through civilian roles and by hosting allied forces. Just for context, for 17 straight years, it has topped the Global Peace Index as the world's most peaceful nation, the most peaceful country. But that image may be changing and that too quickly. With the Arctic melting faster than ever, Russian and Chinese naval activity has surged in the region. Russian submarines are increasing their presence in the North Atlantic and Iceland's position right between Europe and North America, as you can see, appears to be becoming increasingly strategic. Sensing growing threats, Iceland's foreign ministry has started drafting the country's first formal national defense strategy reportedly. In fact, a parliamentary committee recently warned that Iceland's isolation no longer guarantees safety. It pointed to the country's dependence on undersea internet cables that could be sabotaged in conflict as well as the strategic Greenland-Iceland-UK gap. A key route for Russia's northern fleet to access the Atlantic as the primary reasons. Now, Iceland's former military representative to NATO has also recently called on the government for creating an army as well as specialized units like a drone defense unit to protect Iceland from new threats. NATO allies have also turned their attention to this issue. Germany's defense minister visited uh, the area recently and signed a joint agreement with Iceland to boost military planning and procurement. While Iceland's prime minister has said the U.S. president assured her of Washington's awareness of Iceland's defense concerns, highlighting the importance of the Arctic in U.S. security. That's not all. Recent drone disruptions over Copenhagen airport Iceland's main European gateway have reportedly alarmed the public. And amid all of this, a campaign group called Guardians of Iceland is now urging the government to raise a small but agile defense force of about 2,000 soldiers to protect critical infrastructure. And the group also wants military training for about, for up to 40,000 citizens, for up to 40,000 citizens, roughly a tenth of Iceland's population, to form a reserve force in times of crisis. Once a symbol of perfect peace, Iceland now faces that big question. Can its neutrality, in a way, survive in an increasingly militarized Arctic? The world's ice fortress is breaking. A sudden seismic shift in the Antarctic has started, silent but devastating. The unthinkable now hanging on the tide, a catastrophe that could redefine every part of our planet. Antarctica holds 70% of Earth's fresh water. Trapped in ancient ice, enough to drown every city on the planet. Its glaciers are silent giants. Now those giants are cracking. One of its fastest shrinking glaciers, Hectoria Glacier, is collapsing at a pace that has scientists alarmed. Hectoria retreated by 8.2 kilometers. That would be nearly 10 times faster than any grounded glacier recorded before. Its ice front is retreating faster than any model predicted, pouring billions of tons of melt water into the Southern Ocean. Of course, um, the Antarctic ice sheet is, is uh, worrying because uh, if it collapses, uh, then the sea level rise would be much higher and uh, um, the impacts of uh, a much higher sea, le sea level rise up to 1.5 or, or more meters uh, would be extreme because uh, there are so many people living uh, in low-lying uh, uh, coastal areas uh, that it would have a major impact on cities, uh, on coastal cities, on uh, coastal infrastructures in general. Researchers warn this could mark the beginning of a self-reinforcing collapse. Warm ocean currents are tunneling beneath the ice shelves, 
eroding them from below, while surface melting cracks them from above. Once gone, they cannot grow back in human timescales. Why is West Antarctica so important is because it contains enough ice to raise sea levels by four, five, even up to six meters. Um, so it's very important to understand what happened to West Antarctica because if Antarctica collapses the next time the Earth is at plus three degrees, it will be hundreds of millions of people which will have to be displaced. The fear is simple. If Hectoria Glacier goes, others may follow. Together with nearby glaciers like Thwaites and Pine Island, it acts as a cork in the bottle holding back the West Antarctic ice sheet. At the same time, the United Nations Climate Report warns the planet is now very likely to exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius of warming within the next decade. The critical threshold scientists have fought to avoid. That warming accelerates melt rates exponentially. The Antarctic meltdown is no longer a slow motion disaster, it's speeding up. And if the ice keeps falling into the sea, no nation will stay untouched. The countdown to rising seas has already begun. Bureau Report, Leon, World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.